Hey everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Physical Deals, where we look at the best deals right now for your Nintendo Switch on physical games. Now, unlike the other series, this doesn't come back each and every week, but they rather come back when a sale hits that I think is worthwhile taking a look at and pointing out which games you should maybe look at picking up. Really quickly, as I mentioned in previous physical deals videos, unfortunately there's no way to know necessarily how much stock is in stock and also when exactly some of these deals will end, especially Amazon doesn't really put an end date on their sales. And also, I'm perfectly aware that we're not in Black Friday season, meaning that I do know that sometimes some of these games can be found cheaper in those holiday seasons. However, I still think that the games on this list are all fair deals for the moment. And if you don't want to have to wait five or six months before picking up a new physical Switch game, I think that the deals on the list are good enough that you won't regret your pickup. Now, as usual, we'll be doing all major retailers and we'll be starting with Amazon. Just before we get started on the deals, don't forget that the best way to support the channel if you're liking this content is to hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. Now, the first game on our list is going to be Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Now, I already hear you. I know this game is often on sale and it's on all of my lists, but the game is just that good. And at $20, you get a first party quality title at an amazingly low price. And of course, if you pick it up on the eShop, you can sometimes get better deals than this or you can have the DLC included. But as a physical collector, I think that this is a piece that I really enjoy having in my collection because of how much fun the game is and how out there the concept is. By the way, this deal is also being matched by Walmart. Now, the next game on our list is going to be another Mario game, but this time it is Super Mario Odyssey. My opinion, pretty much the best Mario game we currently have on the Switch, with maybe Bowser's Fury coming as a close second. Now, don't worry, this list won't just be packed with all the first party titles. I only selected really the ones that I think have the best deals currently. Now, Super Mario Odyssey is pretty much available at all the major retailers. So it is only at Walmart and the deal is the same. It's $39.99, meaning $20 off the regular price. I've already seen it, I think, once lower than this, but at this price, I think it's a really decent deal, and on first-party titles, we rarely get less than this. But like I said, you can pick this up at Amazon, you can pick it up at Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and GameStop as well. So now the next game on our list for Amazon is another returning game, and that is Immortals Phoenix Rising. Now, yes, I'm always talking about this game, but that's because I really appreciate it. And I want this game to succeed because this is a series where I'd like us to keep getting DLC and maybe eventually get a, a new game totally. So a Immortals Phoenix Rising 2. It's currently $29.83. This is a 3D adventure game, sort of in the style of Breath in the Wild meets God of War. I've said it many times. Uh, and basically right now the deal is pretty much everywhere except GameStop. So you can pick it up on Amazon, you can pick it up at Walmart, Best Buy or Target as well. Now the next game is another first party title and another Mario game, the new Super Mario's U Deluxe. Look, this game got a bad rap from some reviewers because it was simply a port of the Wii U game, but let's be honest, not everyone got a Wii U. So if you've never played through this game, it is a completely new Super Mario game and it is a really good one. And once again, this one has a bigger sale on this week, meaning that it is being sold for $39.99. Now, it's not only available at Amazon, it's also at GameStop and Target. So you can pick this guy up. It's another great deal for this week. So the next game on our list is going to be Collection of Mana, which is currently $20.26 on Amazon, which is pretty much matching its lowest price even on the eShop because Square Enix rarely goes below that 50% off mark. And in this game, you're basically getting three action RPGs, two SNES era RPGs and one from the Game Boy. And all of them are from the Mana series. It's an excellent series that's been going on for years and years. So honestly, if you want a ton of value for your money this week, this is an awesome deal to pick up. By the way, Walmart is also matching this price. Now the next series of games will be the Lego series of games. And I won't be showing each and every one of the Lego series of games because ultimately they're all the same deal. They're pretty much all at $20. Now, of course, these aren't huge percentages off, but I do like mentioning these games because there are 
amazing value for the price. You get a ton of content here with a ton of replayability and some very friendly co-op play available in all these LEGO games. But basically right now at $20, you can pick up the Harry Potter series, you can pick up the Jurassic World series, you can per pick up the Marvel series, and you can pick up the DC series as well. And by the way, most of these deals are all available on Amazon and they are also being matched pretty much all at Walmart currently with GameStop and Best Buy matching some of them, but not all. Now the next game on our list, honestly, when it came out, I didn't think that this was going to end up being a game that I was going to like a lot, but Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is an awesome RPG adventure for anyone who was into the old school Digimon series. And honestly, it is one of the better Digimon games that we ever got in the West. Now, currently it is $29.83 uh, on Amazon, but the deal is being matched by Walmart, Best Buy, and also GameStop. But this is an awesome pickup for anyone into RPGs, and at $30, it is a fair investment for this game. Now, the next game is actually our first game that is an Amazon exclusive. What that means is no one is matching this price right now, and that is Persona 5 Strikers, that is $39.99. Now, basically, it is Persona that got a Warriors type remake. However, keeping that deep storyline, what really surprised me about this game is that the storyline is almost as deep as a normal uh, Persona RPG. It's just that basically the battle sequences, rather than be an RPG format, are really a Warriors type format. And it just came out and already $20 off, if you're into the Persona series, is a pretty decent price. We might see a better price eventually, but I don't think it's going to happen very soon. We most likely are going to get rotating deals at $39.99 for quite a while. Now, the next game on our list is going to be My Hero 1's Justice 2. If you're really into the anime series My Hero Academia, well, this is going to be an awesome game to pick up. And with the Bandai Namco sales, the lowest they pretty much get as well is about 50% off. And right now we're hitting that target at $29.99. And considering this game came out not that long ago, it's actually pretty decent that we're already getting that 50% off. So basically this is a fighting game where it's all based around My Hero Academia, the anime series. And basically it's being matched right now, not only at Amazon, but you can also pick it up at Walmart or Best Buy. So now we are changing retailers, we are moving on to Walmart. And Walmart has a lot of deals right now. And the first one I want to take a look at is South Park The Fractured But Whole, which is basically $19.93. Look, once again, do we see better deals on the eShop? Yes, we do. But for a physical edition of the game, I don't mind dropping an extra $5 to $10. And South Park The Fractured But Whole is an awesome game. If you didn't know, it's basically taking South Park and turning it into a strategy RPG. And honestly, the humor of a regular South Park episode is there. It's like you're pay playing a huge South Park episode. Now, the next first party game that I want to take a look at that is on sale at Walmart currently is Yoshi's Crafted World. Personally, it is not my top pick for first party games for this week. Why? Not because I don't like the game and not because it isn't polished, but unfortunately the game I found a little too easy and also uh, a little too short. But nonetheless, when you hit that more than $20 off mark, I do find that at that point you could start looking at this game, especially if you're really into Yoshi or if you're searching for a game for younger gamers. Then it becomes, I would say, an excellent pickup. And by the way, Target currently is matching this price, so you have the choice between Walmart or Target. Now the next first party title I believe was in the last physical deals video as well, but nonetheless it is one of the really good Mario sports games and that is Mario Tennis Aces. Of course, you have to like the Mario sports franchises, but if you're waiting for Mario Golf and you want something to fill in the gap, well right now at $39.21, Mario Tennis Aces is a pretty decent deal. And on top of it, the deal is currently being matched by Target as well. Now we're actually at our first Walmart exclusive deal, and that is Catherine Full Body. That is currently $30.59. Look, this being a Atlas game on sale, uh, if you don't know, Atlas games really don't go on sale much and not all that often. And Catherine Full Body has a very dedicated fan base. So if you were waiting to pick this one up, I would definitely say jump on it now. Uh, I'm not 
look, I can't promise it will never be cheaper, but I would be worried that they would run out of stock of the game before a bigger sale would appear. Because I don't think this is a game with tons and tons of copies that were printed. And since we're already getting a sale, if you're really into this game, I would definitely look at picking up a copy right away. And while we're on the topic of games that don't normally go on sale, we have Square Enix with $10 off Octopath Traveler. Now, I know $10 off doesn't sound like a lot, but it's just that this game really rarely goes on sale. Uh, it did go on sale at the beginning when the sale when the game wasn't as known as it is today, but since it really hit its stride, uh, this game rarely goes on sale. So if you were looking at picking up Octopath Traveler, $10 off is better than nothing. And this is another one of those games that I would be worried eventually will run out of available copies. I don't want to scare anyone. I don't want to push anyone to buy anything they shouldn't. I'm just saying that this is one of those that feels like eventually it's going to happen. Now, the next deal is another Walmart exclusive. So we're at three Walmart exclusives in a row. And this is one that you like have to pick up. If you're into any of these series at all, at this price, there's like no reason not to snap this game up. That is Capcom Street Fighter, the 30th anniversary collection. That is currently $16.38. Look, you're getting over 12 Street Fighter games for $16. You're paying about a dollar a game. And yes, some are multiple versions of Street Fighter 2. But if you don't know, there are actually quite a few differences between the different editions of Street Fighter 2. So if you really dive deep into the series and the history of Street Fighter, it's really tons of fun seeing how that series evolved. But nonetheless, if I were to pick up just one deal for my physical collection, and if I didn't already own this game, I would definitely be picking up a, another copy of Capcom Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Now, the next game unfortunately has its price hidden because it has to be seen in a cart, but I prefer showing you the page of the game, but I'll give you the price. It is $49.94. It's only $10 off again, but it's the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Nintendo has already held their promise, removed it from the eShop, and they won't be printing any more physical copies of this game. And you actually are getting a sale on it right now when sometimes on eBay copies are selling for double to triple the price. Of course, I don't think those copies are selling because a lot of stores still have stock available of the game. But nonetheless, if there's one game I wouldn't necessarily wait on if I want to pick up and at least get a, a little $10 off, I would definitely be picking up Super Mario 3D All-Stars before it's just unavailable totally. So the next game is going to be another Walmart exclusives. We're at five Walmart exclusives in a row. Walmart is really starting to kill it on the Switch sales. But anyway, let's get back to it. At Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, $23.88. An awesome Metroidvania. Had some issues when the Switch just came out, but as long as you patch this game, it is now totally, totally fine and totally playable. And you get an amazing Metroidvania that has a lot of the spirit of the original Castlevania or Symphony of the Night, if you will. If you're into any of those series, I would definitely say pick it up. Even if you're just looking at completing your physical collection, now would be a great time at $23. Now the next game on the list is maybe not my personal favorite, but I think now with a $10 off at $28.99, it becomes a pretty decent deal, and that is Saints Row 4. Currently, by the way, this deal is being marked, matched by Target, so it's not a Walmart exclusive. You could pick it up at Target as well. But uh, at $28.99, you are getting a really pretty decent campaign at a low price. Um, we might eventually, like at Black Friday, see a lower deal than this, but I'd be surprised before that season that we will see lower than a $10 off on this game. Now, the next game, I actually debated for a long time whether I would include it on the list or not. Because it's a game that is, I would say, so-so and really hit or miss depending on who's going to play it. But Transformers Battleground is basically a Transformers game that turns it into a strategy shooter, sort of like an XCOM style game. The only problem is that they didn't go deep enough in the gameplay. The gameplay is a little bit too superficial in my opinion. But nonetheless, at $19.93, if you're picking this game up for a younger player that you want to sort of get into the tactical shooter genre, it's actually a perfectly entry point for it, especially if that young person is into the Transformers franchise. I just want to warn it, if you're a hardcore gamer, this is maybe not a game for you. 
but I do want to mention it because I think this game got a worse rap than it, what it actually is. It's not as bad as most people think. Now we're going to be wrapping up Walmart with one last exclusive, and this is a big one in my opinion, because I picked it up myself this week because I was waiting for a deal like this, and that is Risk of Rain 2. By the way, also has Risk of Rain 1 included in it. So you actually get Risk of Rain 1 plus Risk of Rain 2 for $14.69. This is an amazing indie title that I am so happy got a physical release. And basically, if you're going to pick this game up physically, I mean, I can't see it getting any lower than this. And even if eventually, let's say it would hit the $10 mark, will I really feel bad that I spent an extra $4, but I guarantee that they won't run out of physical copies of this game? No, I won't feel bad at all. So if you were ever looking at picking up a physical copy of Risk of Rain, I would say that right now is an amazing time. So now we move on to Target. And Target, the first game I want to take a look at is Fire Emblem Three Houses. That is currently $39.99. By the way, GameStop is currently matching this deal. This is an amazing first party strategy RPG. If you haven't played it yet, it has a ton of replayability as well because you can follow the storyline down the different houses and it really changes up some of the gameplay, the characters and everything. So I will definitely say that me personally, out of the first party titles, after Mario Odyssey for this week, if you don't have it, I would be definitely looking at Fire Emblem as another great option for the moment. So the next game on our list is going to be Xenoblade Chronicles, which is currently $39.99 at Target. By the way, the deal is also being matched by GameStop. This is another amazing JRPG series. And we all saw what happened with Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where this price right now is above $100 most likely for a physical copy. So this is another one of those games that if you're looking at picking it up, I wouldn't wait too long because eventually the deals will dry up and the game will skyrocket. In my opinion, I, I don't have a crystal ball, but it does feel like another one of those games. But if not, do pick up Xenoblade Chronicles if you were looking at it. I think it's one of those sweet deals for this week. Now the first of our target exclusives, the last time we had a physical deals, I mentioned it as well, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit an amazing arcade racer on the Switch. My personal favorite right now, if you're not into the kart design. Uh, personally, great game all around. And at $19.99, this is another one of those games I don't think will ever hit under the $50 mark because that's just the way EA works with their physical copies. They rarely hit below 50% off. So right now would be an amazing time to pick it up. We're going to follow it up with the other exclusive to Target once again, and that is Burnout Paradise, another arcade racer, but with an even more far out style. So if you like better, even more far out mechanics rather than just pure racing, Burnout Paradise is another great game. I know a lot of people that actually prefer this to the Need for Speed series. It's honestly going to be a personal preference, but once again, at $19.99, we're, I don't think we're going to be seeing a lower price for quite a while. The last game at Target, which is also an exclusive, will be Killer Queen Black, that is current $14.59. Now, I know this game sort of normal, has a normal price of around $19, but once again, this is a game that I don't see physical copies really any going ever going any lower than this. They'll run out of stock before probably this game gets any lower. And it's an amazing pixel art game, especially if you have other people to play with. It becomes an amazing game to play in multiplayer mode. Uh, Killer Queen Black, if you want to see what the game's all about, you can check out reviews and whatnot. It's an amazing game, and at $14.59, it's a, a great time to pick it up for your physical collection. So now we move on to GameStop. And the thing with the GameStop is that a lot of their deals are already mentioned during the other retailers that we already went over. Because if it isn't self-evident, I don't go over the deals a second time when I mention that they're available at other retailers, or this list would just be way too long and way too repetitive. But basically, GameStop, because of that, only has three deals that we haven't gone over yet. Uh, the first one being XCOM 2 Collection, $19.99, which is an amazing price. Only $5 off the lowest it's ever been, even on the eShop. Yes, it does have a huge download requirement, but nonetheless, if you want a physical box and cartridge for your collection, I would definitely say pick up XCOM 2. By the way, it's being matched by Best Buy currently at this $19.99 price. 
Now, the second game that we're going to take a look at at uh, GameStop is Civilization VI. That is $19.06. Uh, this is a deal that comes around very often on Amazon everywhere at $19.99 or, you know, in the $19 range. Uh, it is nonetheless a great strategy game if you're into that. Civilization VI, and honestly, for $19.99, just to have it in my physical collection, I had to pick this game up. I already have it if you looked at my physical collection video. But I would nonetheless say that if you only have $20 to spend this week, you're into the strategy type of gameplay and you want a lot of content, this is a game that theoretically could never end. And the last one I would take a look at at GameStop, and I know that only Resident Evil 4 is on the game cart and the other two are downloads, but nonetheless, for three Resident Evil games for $39.99, you're still getting a pretty good deal. Basically, you're getting Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, and Resident Evil 6 at $39.99. And personally, just to have the physical cart of Resident Evil 4, I don't mind spending the tiny bit of extra money compared to even the best eShop sales if you add the prices of all three games together. I actually think it comes out more expensive if you buy them all separately on the eShop. Now to close out the last retailer, I know I'm sort of breaking the rule I just talked about, but uh, we're going to look at Best Buy. The problem is Best Buy has no exclusives that we haven't already looked at at the other retailers. So I'm just going over sort of their best deal right now, which is XCOM 2 collection for $19.99 that we just looked over at GameStop. So it's not that I forgot about Best Buy, it's just that all the deals that they had are were already mentioned from other retailers. And unfortunately they have no major exclusives that I would say really beat out the other games we already looked at. So I'm just looking over with you quickly their best deal. Just so you know, I didn't forget that they're there. They just you know, all the deals were just already mentioned or other people are unfortunately beating them out for this week. So that's pretty much it for this edition of Physical Deals. Let me know what you're picking up down in the comments down below. And also let me know if you're still enjoying this series because I do plan on maybe making it a more regular thing. However, at the same time, I'm dependent on what the sales are and I wanna make sure that the sales are a little bit different each time. So I'm not just gonna make the same video over and over. Also, I wanted to mention for all the games that are on sale on Amazon, I am going to be leaving my affiliate links down below in the description of the video. So if you do want to pick up the games from Amazon, you can use those links. And just in case anyone was worried, eShop Deals is on its way. It's either going to be hitting later today or early tomorrow. Now, just on the way out, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget that if you did like this content, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and don't forget to activate that notification bell. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.